Hi, um, this is a manual push button lock. <clears throat> um, previous video I showed you how, I, um, I'll, how it actually works, how the mechanism works. So I want to show you a little bypass technique that I can't say works on every single one of these locks, but it does work on pretty much <clears throat> most of them, especially ones that's been used. Um, you find that the locks that haven't been used that brand new, this is less likely to work, but this is <clears throat> like a, a little technique to um, pick a lock. And as usual, standard technique is that you need to put tension on the lock. So um, what we do is we use the, we can see that the door is locked. <clears throat> so what we do is we put a bit of tension on. And what we're going to do is, we're going to go through the buttons one by one. Right, two of those have clicked. The C button is the cancel button. <clears throat> um, so we go around again. One's no good. Two's pushed. Oh, three went that time. Four, five, no. Y, no. Six, no. Seven, yes. Eight's gone. Okay. There you go. Let's cancel it. <clears throat> I'll just show you that again. <clears throat> so the idea is that you take <clears throat> have a bit of tension on it. If you put too much on, the button's not going to push <clears throat> and it works. So I'll show it, demonstrate. I'm going to really put too much tension on, and two wouldn't go before. There you go, look at that. They're all locked up, so you just got to judge. The, it's like usual picking a lot, you've got to put a bit of tension on, not too much, not enough, and you'll find that all the buttons are still more or less push. Okay, so we're locked. <clears throat> a little bit of tension, not much. One won't go, two went, three's gone. Felt the, felt the, um, the knob turn a little bit. Four won't go, five, Y won't go, six won't go, seven went with a bit of pressure, eight went, and the knob's gone, there you go. Like I say, this technique doesn't work with every single lock, but it does work with ones that's been used for quite a while. <clears throat> so it's, if the lock mechanism is a little bit worn inside, you will find that um, you can actually decode this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and I'm going to switch over to another one, another lock, and show you it work with a different code. So just bear with me for a second. I'm going to pause the video and switch around. Hello again. That was quick, wasn't it? Okay, this is a different lock <clears throat> and it's the same, same kind of lock. It's a mechanical... Uh, push button lock <clears throat> on a different door. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is, it's a different code, I'm going to show you again. But I'm going to change these codes by the way, that's why I'm showing you on this lo these locks. So we put a bit of tension on the lock, like so. One's tight, two's tight, three went, four won't go, five won't go, Y won't go, six won't go, seven won't go, eight won't go, Nine won't go, zero won't go. So, so far we've only got, I can't remember what number we have, three. Okay, so I'm going to just tiny, tiny release a bit of tension. One went this time, two won't go. So, one and three is gone. Four won't go, five won't go, six won't go, seven won't go, eight won't go, nine won't go. Zero won't go. Okay, so so far we've got one and three. Nothing else is going to go. So I'm going to just very fractionally release a bit more tension. One's gone. Two won't go. Three won't. Go. Three's gone. Four won't go. Five won't go. Six is gone. Seven won't go. Eight won't go. Nine won't go. Zero won't go. So we've got three numbers. One three and six. So I'm going to just 
I mean, I'm talking to Burley and Matt, really spirit. Two, two's gone this time. And I know it's a four button code. So that time it hasn't worked. See, it doesn't work every time. So we cancel it, <clears throat> bit of tension. Three's gone. Back to the beginning. Release a bit of tension. Three's gone. Six didn't go then. Release a bit more tension. One's gone this time. Three's gone. Four won't go. Five won't go. Six has gone. Seven won't go. Eight won't go. Nine won't go. Zero won't go. So we've got three numbers with one missing. So we've got one, not got two went again. I know it isn't two, so <clears throat> try again. One went this time, three went, slight less tension this time. Six has gone, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, so I'm gonna release a little bit more tension. One, two, three, four, Five, six has gone, seven, eight, nine, no, nope. round again, one, two won't go, three's gone, four's tight, five is tight, let's say six has gone, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two's tight, three, four, four's gone. Zero's gone. And we've not got an open because four didn't go. So you can see if I keep manipulating this, it will go eventually, but I won't, I won't make the video too long. But but the code, but like I said, you put a bit of tension on and you push, and eventually your button's gonna go. When you get a button gone, You release a bit of tension, just a tiny bit too much and you're going to get those ones gone. Oh, this time zero's gone. And there we go. So that was one, three, what was it? Six and zero. There you go. So that's a little technique to show you how to um, decode one of these locks. Um, <clears throat> this one was a little bit more harder to do. Some of them are easy, some of them are a little bit harder. Depends on one they are. These two locks were put on at the same time. So obviously this lock is used slightly less than the other one. But a worn lock will decode very easily. One like this, a little bit harder, and a brand new one you'll find. This technique probably won't work on a new one um, unless you do a lot of playing with the with the um, tension on the lever. So anyway, thank you so much for burning with me with that, and you have a nice day. And remember, don't pick a lock that doesn't belong to you. Bye-bye now.